Hi, everybody. Ken Reed here, hanging out at the Penn State Rehab Unit. This Rehab a, Hospital. Yeah, hospital. Mm -hmm. This is one classy um, therapy rehab place. So fortunate that Charlotte got in here. And uh, let me reach in here, Char. Oh, and uh, I'm going to turn this around. <laughs> Hey, we're still connected. Say hi to the people, honey. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm really tired right now uh -huh. and hurting bad. Yeah. Just got back from therapy, but... You made it through the this first... This is day. temporary. <clears throat> That's temporary. Mm -hmm. You're going to make it, aren't you? Indeed, I am. You got this, Char. So they asked me, what, what are my goals? for being at rehab and I looked at him. I said, excuse me? She said, what are your goals? I said, well, to walk. Like, what would be your other goal? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I'm gonna walk out of here. All right. I'm glad to hear that. I thought you were gonna say you're gonna walk home. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, you wanna take the phone back, honey? Yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> We're just happy being together. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is the first you got to come in here to visit. Do you remember, Charlotte, that I asked you to marry me in the hospital? You were in a hospital That's bed. That's right. I was. <laughs> oh, my. You've been through a lot, haven't you, babe? <laughs> no, I wasn't feeling that at all. I know. It's a privilege and an honor mm. to go through stuff with people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. And it's been a, I dedicate, I dedicate these eight weeks or whatever it takes to, to make it happen for you as much as I possibly can. Ken, tell them about the couple you met yesterday with Lily. I will. I will. And the reason I want to do this is because I want you to pray for this little girl named Lily. And I want to reach out to her mom and dad. I did not get their name. But I told them, I wrote on a piece of paper how they could watch Rise and Shine. And if they're watching this, Charlotte will put the number up and I'd like you to call me. And I'll come and visit your little girl in the hospital and continue to pray. We'll hook up, okay? <laughs> now, <clears throat> I believe that God has us right where he wants us to be. <laughs> I believe this operation was performed by the right doctor, mm -hmm. that you're in the right place, mm -hmm. right down to the very minute. Mm -hmm. I had the privilege of praying with the doctor and a number of other people and blessing them and encouraging them. And, uh, but one of the neatest things that happened when I was leaving, just walking out the last minute, but the last minute could be a beginning with God. Mm -hmm. And here come a couple from the, one of the side avenues in the hospital. And they almost ran into me because their heads were kind of down. And I said, hi, how you doing? And they said, uh, all right. Well, I felt the Holy Spirit say immediately, stop and pray for them people, they're not all right. And I stopped and I said, look, I'm a pastor and you're not all right. Be honest with me, what's going on? And they said, our little girl, Fell down. Huh? She fell down. Lily. Lily. Fell down. Climbed up to the top of the stairs and fell down the stair steps. Mm -hmm. And she got... Brain damage. Brain damage. Mm -hmm. She's in the Hershey Medical Center. But that's the doctor's report that she has brain damage. We don't know that that's the Lord's... Report. We're not putting down the doctors at all. No. God's given us doctors. No, my We want to know that uh, we have a specialist, mm -hmm. and that's the Lord Jesus. Yes. Now, I'd like everyone out there to partner with me, please, to pray for Lily. Mm -hmm. Please do that. And, you know, every day we have over 100 people. Could you spare a second? Mm -hmm. not, just to, not just to say, I like it. Mm -hmm. And I know you all do, or you wouldn't keep coming back day after day. Could you type in a short prayer for Lily? Mm -hmm. If it were your daughter, mm -hmm. I want them parents to be able to look on this mm -hmm. and see how many people 
took the time to send a prayer out to God and say, I'm praying for Lily to be healed in Jesus' name. The second thing that I'm really concerned about, I want to meet these parents again, and I'm not sure how to go about it. You just don't walk up and down the halls and look for people. Mm -hmm. Uh, But God, if God wants me to do it, Mm -hmm. I'll find her. Mm-hmm. And I got all week this week to do it while you're in here. Mm-hmm. And my goal is to find her and find the mom and dad. But I told them about Rise and Shine. So uh, Lily's parents, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if the name was Deerdorf or not. It seemed to me it was something like that. I would love to reconnect with you. It was really interesting. There we were, total strangers. Mm-hmm. But when I told them I was a pastor, they just embraced me with tears in their eyes. One on the left, Mm -hmm. one on the right. Total strangers. And And you got to pray with them. What a privilege. Mm -hmm. You know, it chokes me up to think of it. What a privilege to share Mm -hmm. their broken heart with them. Mm -hmm. If I could do one thing in life that I really love to do, and I love doing a lot of things, there's nothing that I get the fulfillment of more. Mm-hmm. And when them people like that put their arms around me, and immediately there was a bond. I mean, they just didn't give me a casual hug. They both got their arms around me and said, Oh, Pastor, God brought you into our life. Mm-hmm. They know Jesus. They got a support group. They're saved. They're from Palmyra here. I want to reconnect, mm-hmm. and I want you to say a prayer. I'm expecting 150 prayers tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I really am. I'm expecting mm-hmm. 150 prayers. There's 150 people watch us every day. Uh, please, not for our sake. I want them people mm-hmm. to see that somebody's taking a couple minutes out of their day mm-hmm. and saying a prayer to God. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So for Lily, Lord, I just pray for her right now. In Jesus' precious name, mm-hmm. that she'd be absolutely healed. And for her mom and dad, mm-hmm. in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Until that prayer gets answered, and when it does, I'll surely let you all know. <laughs> I really will, okay? Tell them what the number is, Charlotte. 717-334-5430. And I will have that posted here, as always, on Rise and Shine. See ya. God bless.